playoff time. Hillcrest is going to be in their traditional red uniforms. They got white numbers and white Hillcrest across the chest. As Chargers take the floor in white uniforms, they got blue numbers and Chargers across their chest. Tip up is going to be between Sheely and Zwiers. Three man crew handling the refing duties here tonight. Just about ready to go underway with tip off. As the ref is just making sure everybody is set and ready to go. The ball is in the air and here we go. And that's going to be controlled by the Comet Spas on the handle into the front court. Now to Fisher over to Brumfield. He is met by Riedel. Looks like a little bit of a... Nope, they're going to be in man. Now Foss. Foss will penetrate. Now over to Gold. Gold will dump it down to Zwiers. Back to Foss. Foss is going to drive to the corner. Short for an area. Far side. Back to the perimeter. This is Zwiers. Zwiers is going to send it to Brumfield. Brumfield working against Rito. Puts it on the deck. Now back to the top of the key is Fisher. Over to Foss. Foss, little jab step. Now we'll put it on the deck. Over to Fisher. Fisher to Brumfield. Comet's being uh, pretty patient here so far. About 40 seconds into this one. Zwiers, high post area, puts his head down, working against Fitson, all the way to the floor, and Thomas will score for two. And Thomas are on the board first, and they're going to put it, pick up a little half-court pressure. Now it makes its way all the way to the front court, Pearly Burke, now to Bitson. Bitson looks inside, working against Gold, and they'll send it to Lido as the Comets are in a little bit of a zone there, as Foss is going to bring it up after the steal. Good first uh, defensive possession here for the Comet Sauce on the handle. Over to Fisher. Fisher working far side wing back to the top of the key to Brumfield. Brumfield puts it on the deck, working against Shuley. Hands off to Zwiers. And Zwiers is going to give it back to Fisher. Down to the wing, Brumfield. He'll feed Zwiers inside, but good defense by the Chargers, and they're bringing it the other way as it was almost stolen back by Brumfield. But the Chargers are going to keep the position. Riedel will feed the post. That's Shealy down low. Back to the perimeter. This is number 15, Pearly Burke. Now to Bitson. Bitson puts it on the deck all the way to the hole, and that's fouled by Zwiers. Looks like he might have got a clean block there, but got him on the hand, and that is going to send number 22, Tanner Bitson, to the free throw line. Again, just 11 points away from 1,000. Trying to get close to that number here. Just a couple minutes into this one, and uh, we'll miss the first of two. So trying to split two here is the senior. Free throw is in the air, and good. Nothing but net. So Thomas with the early 2-1 lead on the Park Region scoreboard. Just about two minutes into this one, as Foss brings it in the front court. Met by Sheely. Now over to Zwiers. Quick pass to Fisher, and he'll try to feed Zwiers in the low block, but that's a kick off of the Chargers. Oh, looks like a box set here for the Comets. Zwiers is going to inbound, and uh, Fisher just pops out to catch it out the center of the floor. Gives it to Foss. Foss finds Brumfield. Good pop cut, and he'll hit the three off the screen. Good movement without the basketball by Sam Brumfield. Able to get free and knock down the three-pointer from the wing off the screen. And uh, Sheely, Sheely attacking the basket hard, and he'll score off the glass and in. And a 4-3 ball game. Gold on the handle, breaking the pressure. Now to Fisher, Fisher in the corner. This is near side, now back to the wing is Gold. Back to Fisher on the wing. Now to Brumfield, quick sweep through all the way to the hole. Bits and a beat, he kind of looped it around him. Definitely block was, uh, or the shot was altered by Bitson, and now Bitson is going to turn it over as he was trying to find number 13, Stelzer, inside. But good defense for the Comets, and they're bringing it the other way. Three minutes into this one, four to three. Comets leading by one on the Park Region scoreboard. Attack by Gold. He's kicked off, and he'll uh, pick it over to Foss. Foss with the basketball. And now to Fisher. Fisher will feed Zwiers. Zwiers high post area. Puts it on the deck, sends it back to Foss. Foss is going to work against Sheely. Now to the perimeter to Zwiers. Zwiers over to Foss. Comets being patient here. And they're planning on slowing it down this ball game. Good attack by Foss. And he'll find Zwiers in the paint. And Thomas Zwiers will score for two. And six to three ball game. Hillcrest leads by three. Rito into the front court. Over to Bitson. Bitson to Sheely. Sheely will skip it to Rito. Rito will shoot the three. That is long off the iron and boarded by Fox. And they're going to slow it down. That is one of the uh, definite keys of the game for the Comets. 
Slow it down, work for good shots. Take care of that basketball as Brumfield on the handle, trying to get past Riedel. He dribbles to the short corner area, try to find Foss, but that's taken away by Sheely. Sheely's looking to go all the way, and he'll score over Fisher. Good move by Sheely to not get too sped up, and he just went right around Fisher, and he's got four points in the ball game. Thomas with a one-point lead, Gold on the handle. Looking half-court offense here, Brumfield with it now. Now he'll send it to Fisher. Fisher, near side wing. That's the left side as we see it, sitting up in the press box. Now over to Gold, back to Foss. Foss with a hard drive, gets in a lane, sends it to Gold, but that's taken away by Bitson. Bitson crossing the timeline, almost uh, taken away by Foss, but good handle by the big guy. Kicks it to Riedel. Riedel will feed Bitson, who posts up, working against Weir. That's the left block, and he turns, faces. Nifty move to get free, misses the shot. Hurleyberg with the putback is good. Good work on the offensive boards from Jesse Perleyberg. And the uh, Chargers have their first lead of the ball game at 7-6 with about five minutes into this one. And now we've got a foul. It's going to be the first one on the Chargers. It's going to go against uh, number 22, Tanner Bitson. And it looks like we got a line change from both teams, so they're going to make it really difficult on me to try to keep you updated who's in the game. Number four, Joel Kwan. Number 13, Zeke Erke. This is for Hillcrest now. Number 33, Joel Seymour. Also number 12, Yuchin Han. And number 22, Caleb Swenson. We'll get to the Chargers when they're on the offensive end of the floor and they're gonna be there pretty quickly as Seymour and Kwan, little miscommunication as the ball goes out of bounds. So the Chargers are gonna be with number 24, Sam Fuller. Number three, Tyler Bitson. Who else is out there? Number four, Colby. Uh, Ryland as Bitson is on the handle. Now it's Ryland. He sends it over to number 12, another new guy. That's Tony Schaeferin. Schaeferin will send it down to the short corner area. Now back to the perimeter. So number 12, Schaeferin with it now. Over to number 24, Fuller. Sam Fuller will feed Andrew Johnson inside. Now back to the perimeter. And that goes through the hands of Tony Schaeferin. And an over and back call on the Chargers. We'll give the basketball back to the Comets. 12:31 left here in the first half before the Minnesota Motor Company halftime report. Seven to six, Chargers leading on the Comets' home floor. Seymour over to Erky. Erky will feed Ha. Ha working on the wing. This is left side. Quick cross over to the baseline, but he's cut off. Good uh, recovery by the Chargers. Now to Swenson, over to Seymour. Seymour goes on the attack, all the way into the paint. Missed the shot off the glass. Battle for the board, and it's going to be controlled by the Chargers. Tyler Bitson up ahead to Fuller. Fuller attacking baseline. Now back to the perimeter. This is Schaefer, and he skips it to Tyler Bitson, who wants the three. Overshot the basket, and boarded by Quam on the weak side. He gives way to Erky, and he'll slow it down as the Comets are uh, playing very patient offense here on the floor. On the left side as we see it. Ha uh, on the wing. He'll scan the defense. Back to the top of the key to Erke. Back up point guard for the Comets. Over to Quam. Quam will feed Ha. Ha with a power dribble inside. Little shot. No good. And that was heavily contested by Schaefer. And here come the Chargers. Quick crossover by Fuller. And Fuller will take the shot in the paint. Misses it. And boarded by Quam. But almost knocked away from him. Let's see. Last touch. Off of Fuller, as it looked like he was going to have a shot at stealing that away from Erke. But it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Fuller. And the Comets are going to get the ball back. Crossing the timeline. That's Seymour. On the wing is Quan. Quan, this is far side. Top of the key is Ha. Now back to the same side. Seymour as he popped up to get it. Little crossover dribble. He drives baseline back to Ha on the wing. Now on top of the key to Erky. Went through his hands, but he's able to track it down. Now the big guy Swanson has it. Now over to Seymour. Feeds the wing of Ha. Ha looking inside back to the perimeter. We got 10.50 left here in the first half as Erky attacks, and he'll be fouled. And that uh, little hand check is going to be on number 12, Tony Schaeferin. His first of the ball game. It's going to be the second on the charger. Quam's going to inbound to Erke in the corner. Now to the wing to Ha. Ha working against Bitson. Over to Swenson. Back to Erke. Now to the wing to Seymour. Seymour sweeps through. He drives the baseline. He's cut off. This is the left side. Good little feed into Quam. And Quam gets free and he'll score. 
good strong move and strong finish by the junior Joel Kwan. And he gives the Comets the lead right back at eight to seven. Uh, on your Park Region scoreboard, about 10 to play in the first. Andrew Johnson working short corner area. This is near side. Nice move to get free, but that's batted out of there by Swenson. And Seymour is off and running. Seymour with a bounce pass to Erke, and Erke will score the transition bucket. Great transition basketball by the Comets. And Erke getting on the board off the bench. 10 to seven, the Comets with a three point lead. Schaefer working from the wing, picks up his dribble over to Bitson. This is Tyler Bitson now inside, gets free, and he'll score. And he'll be fouled. And Tyler Bitson is going to go to the free throw line, trying to convert the three point play and tie this ball game up all at 10. And now it looks like uh, the original starting five for both teams are going to check into the ball game. Uh, with the exception of uh, Keegan Shuey, is he's going to wait to see if Tyler Bitson can knock down this free throw. Otherwise, we're going to uh, have the same players on the floor as we first started the ball game with. And the free throw is in the air for Tyler Dixon, and he knocks it down. So with 9.54 left in the first, we're all tied up at 10 apiece. Original starting five for both teams as the inbound comes to gold. He'll be picked up right away. Little token man-to-man -man pressure here for the Chargers. Gold still on the handle. Now over to Brumfield, to Zwiers, Foss, Foss, left side wing, over to Gold, top of the key, trying to get free, back to Brumfield, couple of dribbles, and he'll be called for the double dribble as he was trying to get free for his pull-up jumper. Turns it over, back to the Chargers. Now the Comets are gonna pick up three-quarter court. It's like a little 2-3 zone for them. Zone press and they drop into a 2-3 zone. Now Bitson is gonna be trapped. He gets it back to Sheely. Sheely on the wing is Riedel. He feeds Bitson. Bitson will skip it to Perleyberg and he'll drive. The shot is no good and we'll see who last touched it. Out of bounds off of the Chargers. Comets are gonna get it. There's gonna be a man-to-man -man press coming here. Pick him up, 55 is the Comets. As Gold is gonna handle the basketball. He's a pretty shifty point guard out there as a sophomore. Now into the wing, this is Weirs. Now to Brumfield, over to Fisher. Far side wing, puts it on the deck once, sends it back to the top of the key. This is Foss now, gives way to Gold. Good ball movement for the Comets as Gold penetrates, kicks, three-pointer, Foss, nothing but net for Micah Foss. Great action and uh, great setup by Gold. And Foss uh, gets a little room. He definitely knocks him down most of the time from the outside. His first bucket. And the Comets are back in front, 13 to 10. With eight and a half left to play in the first. Rito will attack the paint, back to the perimeter. Now this is number 13, Seltzer with it. Back to Rito. Seltzer over to Perleyberg, almost knocked away by Gold, but the Chargers is able to get it back. And now, oh, we're going to have a kick. As it was kicked by one of the Comet players. So it'll stay here with the Chargers. Chargers are going to check in number three, Tyler Bitson, as well as number 24, Sam Fuller. They're going to replace Stelzer and Perleyberg. Inbound is going to come from Riedel to Sheely, and he'll set their zone offense. Bitson with it, this is Tyler. Tyler hands off to Sam Fuller. Out of the wing, this is Riedel. Riedel feeds short corner, that's Tanner. Tanner working far side, back to the perimeter. Out of the wing is Riedel. Riedel will take a couple dribbles up, now over to Tyler. Tyler feeds Riedel, Riedel gets free. One dribble pull up is no good from three point land and that's boarded by Brumfield. Brumfield up to Gold. Gold looking to go out in transition and now he'll dribble out. Nope, he's still in the paint and he's gonna be called for the travel. And Ha is going to check in, and he's going to replace Av Gold with 7.48 left here in the first. For help at home, our rewarding career, choose a local company since 1993. New Dimensions Home Health Care. Riedel into the front court. Over to Tyler. Tyler bits in with it now. Feeds Tanner. Tanner, 15-footer, is good. And he's got three points in the ball game. Eight away from a thousand career ones. 
As Brumfield gets free, breaks the pressure. And in the short corner area, deep corner, he's trapped by Bitson and Riedel, able to get it to Foss. Foss into the paint, put up the floater, and good for Micah Foss. And he's got five points. And the Comets are back ahead once again by three. 15 to 12. Playing 2-3 zone, Ha and Foss up ahead of that. Fisher and Zwiers and Brumfield on the low spots. As uh, Bitson able to get it back to the perimeter as he took a lot of contact in the paint. This is Fuller, takes the three, that's no good. Scramble for the rebound and it bounces out to Fuller. Fuller feeds Riedel, now to Bitson. Bitson, long two is long and that's batted out of bounds. Off of uh, Bitson it looked like. And the Comets are gonna get the ball back. as Sam Brumfield is gonna catch it, and he'll be met by Riedel at half court. Brumfield between the legs dribble, left-handed dribble. He gets all the way to the hole and blocked from behind, out of bounds. Off of, I think, Tyler Bitson was the one that got a handle on it. it wasn't positive as number four. Kobe Ryland checking in, he'll replace Marshall Riedel sitting down. Six and a half left, 15 to 12, Comets leading. As Brumfield's gonna inbound to Zwiers. On the far side corner, he feeds Fisher, cutting inside, but knocked away by Chargers, and here they come. Up ahead to Shealy. Shealy with the uh, jump stop, and he'll be fouled. And Keegan Shealy is gonna uh, get a couple of freebies at the free throw line. Chargers able to knock that one away, as it looked like Fisher is gonna get a look inside the paint. It could be a... Uh, Couple free throws here for Shealy, if he can knock these down, and he misses the first. He's got four points in the ball game. Trying to make it five if he knocks this one down. As number four, Joel Quam checking in the ball game. He'll replace Caden Fisher. So for the Comets, you got Sam Brumfield out there, Thomas Zwiers, Yuchin Ha, Joel Quam, and Micah Foss. The second one is also no good, but a great board by Tanner Bitson. And he'll be fouled on the putback attempt on the floor. That's going to go against Thomas Weirs. That's a good battle. Uh, two of the uh, better post players in the Little Eight Conference, and Tanner Bitson and Thomas Weirs matching up against each other. That's two on Weirs. And down comes to Fuller. Fuller will feed Sheely. And now we're going to have a foul. If that's Weirs, which it is, that's going to be three on him. And that's uh, something that he's been prone a little bit in his senior year is some foul trouble. And now they're gonna get him out of the game. Caden Fisher is gonna replace Sam Brumfield. And now here comes Seymour. He'll replace Zwiers. So Tyler Bitson inbounding. Line set for the Chargers as a, a cut to the basket is Bitson. Bitson misses the initial shot, but the putback is good. And Tanner Bitson has five points. And it's a one point ball game. We got our first time out of the ball game. We'll take one as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds. partnership4health.org. Thomas with a one-point lead, 15 to 14. Six minutes left here in the first before the Minnesota Motor Company halftime show. And you'll like the way they do business. Ah, uh, zips it down to Seymour. Seymour on the paint, he's blocked by Shealy. And Shealy sends it out of bounds. And good recovery and block saving the basket as it looked like Seymour was gonna have an easy two. And then instead, oh, it's gonna be a foul. Must have been a late call. Coach Hintermeister didn't see it. I didn't see it as well, the call anyway, from the ref. It looked like they were just gonna inbound. Most of the players were confused as well. But Seymour at the free throw line as he battles that one home. And takes advantage of the first one. And trying to knock down the second. In and out on that one for the senior. And Keegan is gonna bring it the other way. Keely up 
up ahead to Bitson. Tanner Bitson feeds Taylor back to Tanner. Tanner high post extended into Fuller. Fuller, short corner area. This is far side and it's going to be stripped. Nope, jump ball. Forced by the Comets. As Quam Ha and Foss working on that uh, left side of the zone. And doing some good action in there, getting their hands on the basketball, forcing that jump ball. Possession arrow is going to keep it here with the Chargers. Inbound going to come from Tyler. Tyler Bitson over to Tanner. <clears throat> Excuse me, Tanner on the wing. Inside, this is Ryland. Back to Bitson. Bitson thought about the three. Now he'll send it inside to Ryland. Ryland will send it to Cutting Shealy, but that's taken away by the Comets. Uh, on the handle, into the front court. Between the legs, over to Foss. On the wing is Seymour. Seymour sweeps through, top of the key. This is Quam now. Opposite side wing is Ha. Ha with a quick between the legs dribble. Can't get free, leaves it for Foss. Deep three, short on that one. And here come the Chargers. Tanner Bitson picks up his dribble. Sends it to Tyler Bitson. Back to Tanner. Not about the three out of that zone. I think he's going to let one fly here pretty quick. Now he gets it in the post. Big power dribble shot is up and he's good for Tanner Bitson. And he's got a seven. Four away from a thousand. Under five to play in the first. All tied up, 16 apiece. As Seymour catches it on the wing. This is near side. Top of the key, Quam. Quam sweeping through. Working against Fuller. Now over to Foss. Foss gets a foot in the lane. Back to Ha. Ha penetrates baseline. Kicks to Quam. Quam lets it fly. Three pointer from the wing. Good. And Joel Quam, five points off the bench for the junior. And the Comets are back in front, 19 to 16. Entertaining first half here in Little Lake Conference action. High post area, this is Bitson, cuts down to Ryland. Ryland will shoot it and he'll be fouled. And that's gonna send number four, Colby Ryland to the free throw line. As Bitson got that ball at the high post area, found Ryland cutting down. And Colby's gonna have a couple of free throws. 4.22 as clock has stopped here in the first half. The free throw's in the air and no good for the junior. Try to split a pair as it looks like Riedel and Schaffrin and Stelzer are on the ball game for the Chargers. Erke, Fisher, and Swenson back in the ball game for the Comets. Ryland's free throw is good, so he split a pair. So a 19 to 17 ball game as the comments are gonna inbound, face a little man-to-man -man pressure. Ball comes into Seymour. Seymour's gonna be picked up. Now to Fisher. Fisher into the front court, Seymour. And on top of the key is Erke. Now in the wing is Quam. Quam picks up his dribble after putting it down once. Now to Seymour, quick crossover dribble. He splits the defense, kicks to Fisher. Fisher in the corner, probably had a look at a three, but they'll slow it down and reset. On the perimeter, this is Seymour, deep corner. Now the opposite wing is uh, Erke, and he turns it over, and here comes Sheely. Sheely all the way coast to coast, will score, and he'll be fouled. Great take by the senior. And he took the contact, finished through the foul, and he's gonna head to the line, trying to convert three-point play. He's got six points. Trying to make it seven and give the Chargers the one-point lead as we are all notched up at 19 apiece. Free throws in the air. No good off the left side. Boarded by Swenson. So all notched up at 19. 340 and counting left here in the first before the Minnesota Motor Company halftime report. Fisher on the wing to Erke and a little bit of miscommunication and no tip from the Chargers as Quam was trying to get it to Erke in the wing entry. But they'll uh, turn it over as Brumfield's gonna check in, Seymour's gonna sit down. Riedel inbounds to Sheely. Back to Riedel. 2-3 zone for the Comets still. They got Erke, Brumfield up top. Swenson, Quam, and Fisher on the low slots with Swenson in the middle. Riedel on the perimeter, no center of the basketball. And they tried to find Sheely in the high post, so that's bounced right to Purley. A lot of contact there, no foul on either side as Riedel will just reset here for the Chargers. Seltzer will try to send it to Purley, but great defense by Quam, picking that pass off, playing a little cornerback. And here come the comments. Brumfield 
Over to Quam, top of the key, this is Fisher. Oh, sends it to Irby. Quick little touch pass over to Brumfield. Brumfield with a sweep through move. Now to uh, Swenson on the uh, wing. Over to Irky. Irky trying to get some action going. Now over to Brumfield. Brumfield with the heart attack inside. Misses a shot with the left hand. Boarded by Sheely, and he's bringing it the other way. Sheely. Milk feed the wing. That's Schaeferin. Now to Seltzer. Seltzer back to Schaeferin. Scanning that zone. Over to Sheely. 220 left here in the first. Chargers basketball all notch up at 19 apiece. Chile with the handle over to Riedel. Riedel feeds a short corner area and Curly Bird can't control that pass. And the near side short corner. Turnover Chargers. That's Sam Fuller, Tyler Bitson, and Tanner Bitson all checking in the ball game. As Brumfield is going to try to enter this basketball, and he does as Quam comes to save him. Now back to Sam Brumfield. Crossover dribble. And off to Quam. Quam on the wing. Quam's got five points off the bench. Over to Erke now. Erke will feed Swenson. Swenson, about 35 feet from the basket. He hands off to Brumfield. Brumfield gives way to Fisher. And the comic being extremely patient. And Fisher and Quam not on the same page as that ball goes out of bounds. Turnover Comets. As Michael Frost checks back into the ball game, he'll replace Erke. Evan Gold checking in, and uh, he's going to replace uh, Caden Fisher. 155 left here in the first half. Chargers with the basketball, trying to take the lead. As all lunch up at 19. And off to Bitson. Tyler Bitson. Over to Riedel. Riedel to Curly Bird. He'll skip it over to Fuller. Fuller will find Tanner Bitson over to Tyler Bitson in the paint. Misses the shot, but Tanner Bitson yeah. the back and good for the big guy. And he's fouled. He's got nine points in this free throw. We'll give him ten if he can knock it down. Chargers with the two-point lead. Tanner at the free throw line trying to make it a three-point lead. And he does. So he is one away from career point number 1,000. Might have it in the first half as we got 90 seconds left in it. Brumfield, top of the key. Comes down by three. Over to Gold. Gold puts it on the deck. Onto the perimeter is Brumfield, and he'll be fouled. Little hip check. By uh, Marshall Riedel. That's his first. Fourth team foul here on the charges. Inbound comes to Gold. And Gold, little jab step, gives way to Brumfield. Top of the key, this is Quam. Feeds Foss on the wing. Foss with a quick sweep through, drives baseline, kicks back Brumfield. Three-pointer from the wing, in and out. And that's boarded by the Chargers. Chargers bringing it the other way, up ahead to Riedel. Riedel attacking the paint, shot up and good. And a big finish for Marshall Riedel. And the Chargers got five, the five-point lead. 24 to 19, under a minute to play in the first. Boss feeds the wing. This is Swenson. Swenson back to the top of the key to Gold. Gold, quick between the legs dribble. Over to Brumfield. And Brumfield will be, oh, they're going to get the uh, Joel Kwan with the illegal screen up top as he was trying to get Brumfield free. And that's going to be the third on Joel Kwan. So 45 seconds left here before Minnesota Motor Company halftime report. 24 to 19, Comets down by five. Riedel on the handle into the front court, working against that extended 2-3 zone of Hillcrest. Now Bitson will flash, Tyler Bitson with the basketball, didn't see him, now he'll get it to Tanner. Tanner Bitson, three-pointer is no good, and it's gonna be off of Hillcrest. So the inbound's gonna come with 26 seconds left. And first half action, Riedel is gonna inbound for the Chargers. And they're gonna, they look for Bitson crashing down the lane and that's snuffed out by Foss, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Comets. They like to do a little action. Everybody goes on their own time, kind of staggered. And Bitson comes crashing down the lane and usually gets a look down in that block. Didn't happen this time. As Riedel comes off the screen, three-pointer is no good, boarded by Swenson. But that's taken away by Riedel. Now we've got a jump ball. And that is going to favor Hillcrest. A little bit of a 
inadvert contact there. That's going to happen when you got a big boy in Swenson and a little guy in Riedel. Contrary to popular belief, uh, basketball is definitely a contact sport. And as the ball goes out of bounds, then the Comets are going to turn it over once again. That was one of the big, big priorities for Coach Garvin here tonight. Take care of that basketball, but uh, and maybe give them a C plus at best so far here in the first half for the Comets. They clean that up. That's going to help a whole lot in the second half as Bitson gets the ball inside, and he's going to be followed by Foss. And that will send him to the free throw line with 8.9 seconds left. And that'll be the uh, third on Hawk. A little bit of foul trouble mounting up here for the Comets. As Bitson's free throw is in the air and in and out for Tyler. And Timor going to check in for Hawk. Again, 8.9 seconds left, 24-19 as it stands right now. Tyler Bitson trying to change that. Put the Chargers up by six if he knocks it down. Sophomore's free throw is in and out and boarded by Brumfield. So the Comets got to go hurry. And they got uh, Gold with it. Gold up ahead to Seymour. He's got two seconds, one second. Let's it fly, and he's short on the long three attempt. The buzzer sounds, and that's going to do it for the first half on Channel 977, your Park Region Beyond the Connection score at the break is going to be the Chargers 24, the Comets 19. Folks, when we come back here, we will be bringing you the next. possession here of the second half. Inbound's going to come from Riedel. Riedel will inbound it. May find Stelzer. Stelzer on a hammer working against Gold. Between the legs dribble. Hands off to Shealy. Man man defense here for the Comets. And they are picking up the uh, pressure here early. Aaron Shealy catches it on the wing. Finds Bitson. Bitson working on the block against Weirs. Weirs has three fouls, and Bitson will turn around and miss the shot over him, boarded by Shealy. And he's going to be fouled. That's going to go against Foss. That's going to be his first of the ball game, and the uh, first on the Comets of the half. We're just 23 seconds into the second half, and we got the same score. And 24 19, Chargers still in their first possession of the half. As Riedel is going to be uh, stripped by Brumfield, and that's going to be off of Sam right on that end line. So Riedel's going to inbound right by his own bench. Left side of the floor is what they'll be working on here in the second half. As uh, Hurleyberg goes on the attack against Fisher. Now back to the perimeter. This is Stelzer. Stelzer looks inside. And he'll hand off to Riedel. Riedel, quick change of direction move. Out of the corner is Bitson. Bitson working against Sears. Good matchup there. Feeds Shealy. Shealy tries to penetrate all the way to the hole. Over Foss is no good. And Stelzer is going to be fouled on the putback attempt. So says Stelzer. Going to the free throw line. And he's shooting a couple. And that was on number 24, Sam Brumfield. 
two quick fouls on that defensive possession there for the Comets. And the free throws in the air and no good from Stelzer. And senior will have another one coming. Free throw is in the air. And no good. And that's boarded by Zwier. Zwier's good way to go. The Comets will have their first possession of the second half. Trying to cut into that five-point lead. Bold on the dribble. Feeds Zwier's quick attack from the baseline. Kicks to Foss. Foss will attack opposite baseline. And he got caught in the air. Trying to pass out of there. Didn't have anything. And the Chargers are bringing it the other way. Ditson on the wing. Feeds Perlyberg. Back to Tanner Ditson. Working against Zwier, directing traffic. Over to Stelzer. Stelzer with the catch, working against Gold. Gold, and that's uh, almost knocked away by Foss, but he'll tip it out of bounds. As he was getting a hand on the passing lane, as Quam's going to check in, he'll replace Caden uh, Fisher. Chargers stay the same out of that dead ball. 90 seconds into the half as Bitson is going to catch it, working against Zwier. He tracks it down in the corner. A little contact there between the big net. Riedel with it now. High post area. Sends it back to the perimeter. Early bird. He attacks in the middle of the paint. Spin move. Shot up. No good. But Bitson is there. Blocked by Zwiers and out of bounds. Off the comment. Now Sheely is going to inbound. Oh, Riedel is going to inbound. Line set for them. Or four high low as Bitson pops out and catches it. And he feeds it to... Sheely, Sheely, one more little two-man game between him and Bitson. Now Perley Burke will feed Bitson. Bitson working against Rear. Short corner area. He turns, shoots, and in and out, but boarded by Stelzer. And Seth Stelzer has his first bucket. And the Chargers strike first in the second half. 26 to 19 as Quam sends it over the head of Sam Brumfield. Turnover on the Comets. And Seymour is going to check in. He's going to replace Evan Gold. And Mountain going to come to Sheely. Big possession for both teams here. Be big for the Chargers to try to extend this to either 9 or 10. And of course, huge for the Comets to try to get a stop and uh, get a little momentum back here in the second half. But Sheely's going to attack and he'll try to go up over Thomas Rears, and he does. And Keegan Sheely has eight points. As Brumfield is going to bring it the other way. Between the legs dribble. Now crossover right to left. Back to the right hand. Now to Quam. Now back to Brumfield as he popped out to catch it. Over to Zwiers. Zwiers wants the three. In and out. And that's tracked down by Seymour with a great offensive rebound. Over to Foss now. Foss on the attack. Put in the paint. And he'll turn it over. As he tried to dump it down to Zwiers, and the Chargers are bringing it the other way, and now they'll turn it over as Kelser kind of got caught at an awkward position right by the half court line. Well, 15 03, and Zia Mound's going to come from Hillcrest, 28 to 19, nine point lead for the Chargers. Seymour gives way to Brumfield. Brumfield takes the Foss ball screen, top of the key now, back to Micah Foss. He catches it, working against Riedel. He'll defer the screen all the way into the paint, and he makes the shot. And now we're going to have an offense. Oh, nope, it's going to be good. Nope, it is going to be an offensive foul. As no one is on the same page tonight, it looks like, as some refs are are lining up for free throws and some players are and so he uh that's what I thought he did it didn't look like he made the refing uh, motion to count the basket but sometimes you can't tell but anyway the Chargers turn the basketball over and the Comets are going to get it back so kind of a weird sequence As Quan is checking out of the ball game for the first time tonight, James Cho, number 15, seeing some action on the floor for the Comets. Brumfield will bring it up into the front court, almost. Now he crosses the timeline. He gets past Riedel, into the paint, leaves it for Zwiers. Zwiers with a nice move to get free, and he'll uh, miss the shot, though, and here comes the Chargers. Zips it ahead to Riedel. Riedel on the wing. This is near side, looks in the post. Now to Bitson. Bitson will feed Sheely. That's Keegan Sheely. And he'll, nice catch inside, but misses the shot against Foss. And Seymour 
And he's bringing it the other way for the Comets. Seymour on his rears, Brumfield over to Cho. Cho sweeps through. Now to Foss. Foss on the attack, all the way to the hole, and now, nope, missed the shot, but now that is a foul. Everybody's on the same page this time. As Michael Foss will go to the free throw line. Shooting two. Had five points in the first. Looking for his first in the uh, second half action here with 13.53 left here in the ball game. Trying to cut into that nine point lead. Foss's free throws in the air and strong, hard off the back iron, no good. And the Chargers are gonna check in a full line. Tyler Bitson, Sam Fuller, Tony Schaefer, Andrew Johnson, and Kobe Ryland. Boss trying to split a pair. Cut in that lead, and he does. Nothing but net, give him six points in the ball game. 28 to 20. 13.45 left to play as Bitson crossing the timeline. Now it's Tyler with it. Now to Ryland. Ryland, Kate Schaefer. Over to Tyler Bitson with it on the perimeter. Finds a cutting Ryland. Down low trying to score. Now we got a foul on Connor Swears, and that's going to be four on Thomas with 13.36 left here in the half. He had three, and uh, he really was, got to be a little bit more careful with that when you're a senior, and he got three fouls. Don't want to give up any easy ones, but he was definitely swatting at that one. That was Ryland, that one knocked down the first of two. Ryland's got two points, both coming out with free throws. Yu Chin Ha checking in the ball game. He replaces Rears. Ha also has three fouls in the ball game. Ryland free throw is short and made and boarded by Brumfield. Comics down by nine, 29 to 20. Seymour working from the wing. Top of the key, this is Ha with it now. Zips it to Brumfield. Working opposite side wing. Sweep through and he'll be fouled on the floor as he was working against Tony Schaefer. And the inbound's going to come from Brumfield. Box set for the Comets. As Foss is going to come off of the screen, now Ha just pops out and catches it. Over to Cho. Cho up to Foss. Foss puts it on the deck. Hand off to Brumfield. Over to Cho. Cho picks up his dribble after one. Now to Seymour. Seymour trying to slice through the defense. Kicks to Ha. Ha wants the three from the wing. Airballed it out of bounds off of the Chargers. And the Comets are going to regroup. Drumfield will inbound. You get a box set for them. Foss is going to screen Seymour. Drumfield needs to get it in. He finds Foss cutting to the basket. And Micah Foss scores for two. As he was forced to ad lib a little bit. Cut to the basket after not getting it. Drumfield needed a little help. Great get, uh, cut directly down to the basket. And Foss scoring out of the inbound. 29-22, Chargers with the lead and the basketball. Andrew Johnson on the handle as Cho is applying the pressure. Now to Tyler Bitson, working against Fox. This is the top of the key, about 35 feet from the basket, right by that white volleyball line over here in this brand new Hillcrest floor as Andrew Johnson catches the ball on the paint, loses it, ball's on the ground, picked up by the comments, here comes Ha. Ha up ahead of Brumfield. Brumfield all the way, coast to coast, misses the transition layup. And now we're going to have a foul on Sam Brumfield. There's a uh, little frustration foul on the sophomore. Got to be careful you don't compound too many mistakes as he picks up his second. And Quan checks into the ball game. That'll replace Brumfield. Inbound going to come to Tanner Bitson. It's in crossing the timeline, working against Cho. He's one away, so a free throw or any type of a bucket is going to give him a thousand career ones. As Seymour takes it away from Tyler Bitson, and he's going to almost dribble off of his leg, but he, kept, he uh, is able to regroup. Ha, uh, over to Foss, top of the key, down to Cho. Cho puts it on the deck. He's cut off by Bitson. Back to the perimeter to Foss. Foss attacking hard. Into the paint, no score on the finger roll. Foss, like the Foss with a nice attack, and he's got 10 in the ball game. Into the post. This is Ryland. Back to Tanner Bitson. They got a five point ball game. 29 24. Tanner Bitson working against Cho. Now to Tyler. Tyler Bitson. 
He stops, pops three pointer. No good. Hard off the back iron and boarded by Fox. And now the Comets are going to slow it down. Hope up ahead to Quam. Quam thought about the three. Now to Cho. Cho catches in the corner. Back to Foss. Three pointer long and boarded by Bitson. Bitson bringing it the other way. Almost taken away by Micah Foss as he's working hard but couldn't trap down Bitson. Tanner Bitson, the big guy in the lane. He kicks. That's Schaefer. Three pointer long on that one but boarded by Ryland. Back to Fuller, into Bitson. Bitson feeds a cutting Ryland, up no good, and that ball is loose, tipped out as the Chargers are going to retain possession. Now it's knocked away from Tyler Bitson, and Seymour has it. And now we have a foul, or a, a timeout called after that uh, kind of back and forth action as nobody seemed to want the ball on that rebound. And that's going to be... Uh, timeout by Coach Garvin. We're going to take a 30 second one and regroup as well, folks. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Contact Kevin Heck Insurance. We're at 10.48 left here in the ball game. The Chargers lead the Comets 29-24. The inbound going to come to Cho. Comets basketball. Seymour with it. Over to Ha. Now if the Chargers are going to come out. Looks like a 2-1-2 uh, two -two possibly. We'll see on the middle of the floor. That's what I would call it as Cho catches it. High post area. Back to Seymour. Seymour. Short corner area, and he's going to be trapped, and we're going to have a jump ball favoring Hillcrest. Uh, they're going to be trapping in those short corner areas. Got to be dangerous. They're careful about those dangerous spots, working out of a zone. And the amount is going to come to Quam over to Ha. Uh, to Cho. Cho catches it. Now the Chargers are back in man to man. Boss puts it on the deck, top of the key. Over to Quam. On the Ha. Uh, working near side wing. Back to Cho. Cho a little uh, stutter step to get free. Over to Ha. Ha attacking baseline. Tried to zip it to Quam. He should have just went up and shot it. But Riedel's bringing it the other way as he poked it through. Riedel to Tanner. Bits it. Short corner area. Feeds Fuller. Three pointer. In and out for Fuller. And a scramble for the rebound. And that's bounced out to Sheely. And Coach Hintermeister wants him to slow down. Uh, post area to Bitson. Sends it to Shealy, perimeter, feeds Bitson. Bitson in the post, working against two guys. No good on the shot, still looking for that 1,000 point. Cannot get it, and that's boarded by Ha. Hands off to Foss. Foss working against Shealy. Shealy applying the pressure. Crossover dribble right to left. Now to Cho. Cho sweeps through, puts it on the deck. Now to the wing is Ha. Ha working near side. Little jab step, back to Foss. Foss has 10 points in the ball game to lead Hillcrest over to Cho. Cho wants the three short. And that's going to be tipped off of Ha as he tried to keep it alive, but cannot. And we'll go back to the Chargers. As Fisher and Erky are going to check back into the ball game. They replace Cho and Seymour. And again, Thomas Weir is sitting on that bench as he's got four fouls. We'll see when Coach Garvin decides to bring him back into this ball game. Chargers with the basketball. Five-point lead for them. Same deficit as we had at the break. Your score right now, 29-24. Inside, this is Tyler Bitson, deep on the right block. Kicks back to the perimeter to Shealy. Shealy attacking from the wing, into the paint, middle of the defense, and it puts up the shot, no good. Boarded by Foss. Up ahead to Quam. Quam catches it, near side wing. Top of the key is Foss. Pass to Ha, Ha looks in the post. Now back to the perimeter is Quam, over to Erky. Erky is Fisher down on the block, working for it. Now back to Ha, Ha lets it fly, and he knocks down the three from the top of the key and a big shot by Yu Shen Ha. And 
and we got a two-point ball game. 29-27, eight and a half to play in Little 8 Conference action on channel 977. Curly Bird dribbles up to the wing, working near side. Top the key for gives way to Riedel. Riedel scanning the defense, puts it on the deck. One-handed pass over to Tyler Bitson. Bitson picks up his dribble, working against Fisher. Now on the wing, this is Sheely. Sheely is defended by Micah Fox. Sheely is uh, directing traffic, trying to get his teammates to go where he wants them to go. Now he gives it to Riedel. Riedel, he'll get passed by Erky, and Erky is going to be called for the foul. And so Riedel, a uh, quick, quick guard, can shoot it too. He hasn't had a uh, great game shooting the basketball tonight, only two points, but uh, definitely somebody that can score buckets in a hurry if he gets going. And now Tanner Bitson is going to check back for the ball game. We got 7.59 left, 29-27, Comets down by two. Sheely gonna inbound, gives it to Tyler Bitson over to Tanner. Tanner working against the much smaller Quan, trying to get past him, kicks to Riedel and he takes the three, that's no good, and boarded by Fuller. Fuller all the way to the hole against Hahn, he'll score on the left side of the hoop. And that is Sam Fuller's first bucket of the ball game. He makes it a four point game. In the middle is Fisher. About a foot across the timeline is Fox. Gives way to Erke and a half court for the Comets. This is Quam with it now. Sends it over to Fox. Fox looks to the corner. This is Ha. Ha working against Bitson. A couple of dribbles. Picks it up over to Fisher. Fisher over the head pass to Quam and he cuts down to that low block as Quam tried to get it back to Fisher, but that's batted out of bounds by the Chargers. As Brumfield will return as he'll replace Ha for the Comets. After this game, we're going to be bringing you the Olsen Oil Express post-game show, and of course, part of that will be announcing the Quality Player of the Game, sponsored by Quality Toyota and Lake Country Graphics. Erke working against Riedel, and he tried to find Fisher inside, but that's taken away by Fuller. Fuller on the handle, now he'll slow it down, and he finds Bitson. Bitson, he'll attack, packing Brumfield, gets into the paint, back to the perimeter with Fuller. Fuller will center the basketball. He's getting orders from Coach Hennermeister. Now on the wing is Riedel. Riedel defers the screen from Tanner Bitson. Finds him on a backdoor cut, but that's knocked away by the Comets. And we're going to have a jump ball. And that possession arrow is going to favor the Chargers. 6.45 exactly left as this inbound is going to come in. 31-27. Chargers at the four point lead. Inbound, Tyler to Tanner. Tanner, 15 footer, is good, and he's got a thousand and one points for his career. Senior Tanner Bitson at 10 in the first. And he's got a, that bucket in the second, give him 12 points in the ball game. And congratulations to number 22, Brandon Evansville's senior post player, Tanner Bitson, with a thousand career points. Stop the action, give him a uh, standing ovation. Both sides, Brandon Evansville and Hillcrest, is uh, definitely a great achievement for the basketball player. So congratulations to Tanner Bitson. A little uh, break in action, and now we're back. Here is uh, the refs are going to get both teams here ready to play some basketball with 6.42. Left here in the ball game, 33-27, as Tanner makes it a six-point ball game on your Park Region scoreboard. Cross on the timeline, Sam Brumfield between the legs, couple dribbles up top, over to Foss. Foss onto the wing to Fisher. Fisher working against Tyler Bitson, puts it on the deck, into the paint, middle of that uh, defense, kicks to Brumfield. Tough pull-up jumper, in and out, boarded by Quam underneath, and he'll be fouled by Tyler Bitson. And Joel Quam is going to head to the free throw line. And this is uh, the just the third time the Comets have been at the free throw line tonight. They are uh, two of four, shooting 50% from the charity stripe. As Quam's trying to up that uh, percentage here tonight for the Comets, and he does rattling home the first. Checking in is uh, Jesse Prulibert. He's going to replace Sam Fuller. On the floor for the Comets, we got Zeke Erke, Micah Foss, Joel Quam at the free throw line, and Sam Brumfeld and Caden Fisher. Quam's free throw is nothing but net, pure as can be, give him seven points for the ball game. Having a uh, 
good game off that bench here for the Comets. Cuts it to four, 33-29. About 6-10 in counting left here in the ball game as that ball is gonna be through the hands of Bitson, but he's able to track it down and get it back to Sheely. Sheely about a foot across the line. Now to Riedel, Riedel will attack the basket from the wing, puts it up, no good, overshot the basket and boarded by Foss. Micah Foss up ahead to Joel Quant. Joel quan has got a lane if he takes it. Now he'll jump stop down on the low block. Back to Foss. Foss three-pointer, short. And that's going to be boarded by Tanner Bitson. And the Comets just need to get back as they're uh, putting a whole lot of pressure on. One of them is going to pick up a foul, but they do not. Nifty display by Tanner Bitson to get free. And he'll kick it to Riedel. Three-pointer in the corner is no good, but boarded by Curlyberg. And he threw it right to Sam Brumfield. Good defense by Sam to get in the passing lane and pick off that pass up into the front court. Now we got a timeout by Coach Garvin. We'll keep it here, folks. Again, after the game, we're gonna be bringing you the Olson Oil Express post-game show. And if your car is dirty, crusty white, and full of snowy salt blobs, you can get a car wash with Olson Oil. That'll wash at Lakeway Express. County Road 1 East and Power Wash at Olson Oil Express on 210 West. Why pay more? when there's Olsen Oil. And of course, a part of that Olsen Oil Express post-game show, we will be bringing you the Quality Player of the Game, and that is sponsored by our good friends at Quality Toyota and Lake Country Graphics. Four-point lead for the Chargers. Thomas with the basketball, 33-29 with 5-23, as we're gonna come out of that Partnership for Health timeout and reminding you to take time out to get the facts about e-cigarettes. And you can find more at the website, partnership, and number four, health.org. Inbounds, Weirs is back into the ball game, and he throws it right to Riedel. A uh, miscue out of the timeout, not what you want. Riedel goes all the way, and he'll score for two, and what a big bucket for the senior, Marshall Riedel. That is not the execution that you want coming out of the timeout. Brumfield on the wing, and he'll take this rear screen. Brumfield dribbles to the high post area, leaves for Quam. deep three is good for Joel Quam. And what a big shot for the junior. He's playing great off the bench, give him 10 in the ball game. Right back to a three point lead, 35-32. Tanner Bitson in the high post, that's the right side. He'll feed a cutting Pearly Bird with a wild shot as he was kind of half stripped in the air and the Comets are running it the other way. Out of the defensive stand. Go to Foss. Micah Foss dribbles to the center of the floor, still on the handle. Dribbles down to the low block area, right side, kicks back to the perimeter. This is Eb Gold with it. Eb Gold feeds Foss, three-pointer and the tie is no good, but boarded by Zwiers. Now back to Brumfield. Brumfield attacking the paint. Now they'll reset with Gold up top. Onto the wing is Quan. Quam just hit a three a moment ago. He'll send it over to Foss. Foss is picked up by Tyler Bitson. Now into the corner to Gold. Gold dribbles to the wing. Back to the top of the key. Quam gives way to Foss on a little touch pass. Over to Gold. Gold, little jump step. Now back to Foss. Top of the key. As the action slows a little bit. Now Foss will be fouled. As I believe Keegan Sheely got him with the body. As we got 353. That's Sheely's second. As Riedel's gonna check out of the ball game, number 13, Seth Stelzer checking in for him. 35-32, Comets down by three. Inbound, Brumfield to Zwiers. Zwiers, near side corner, working against Bitson. Little spin move, now back to the perimeter is Quam. Quam, over to Brumfield, to Gold, Gold, Catches it over to Quam. Comets being patient here. Down by three. Brumfield catches it in the corner. Near side. Trying to dribble out of trap and he throws it right to Sheely. Sheely with a couple comments to beat all the way to the hole and he'll score for two. And Keegan Sheely is in the double digits with 10. Now Gold crossing the timeline. 37 32. Might be down to the wire as Foss behind the back dribble and he loses it and here comes Tyler Bitson. Tyler Bitson, Thomas just doing, trying to do a little bit too much, and Seth Seltzer will score for two, and two very important back-to-back -back buckets for the Chargers as they halt the Comets' momentum. They lead by seven, 
39-32, under three to play on the Park Region's full board. Foss catches it, top of the key, Allen to bling to Gold. Gold looking inside, Zwears is double team, nothing there, loses the handle, out of bounds. Last touched by the Chargers. Checking in for Brandon Evansville is number four, Kobe Ryland. He's going to replace number 15, Jesse Perleberg. And Mound's going to come from Zwears right by the bench as he feeds Gold. Add Gold over to Foss. Qu crowd cry quiets here as Quam sends it to Brumfield. Brumfield takes the Zwears, Zwears ball screen. Now to Gold. Gold will penetrate. Finds Zwears underneath. Short ends it, but he gets the second attempt to go. And Thomas Zwears has his first back into the second half, and he's got six in the ball game. Tanner Bitson will kick to the corner. Over to Tyler. Now to Sheely. Good ball movement. Ryland and uh, right back to Tanner. Tanner, short corner area, going against Zwears. A little up fake move, and he'll score for two. Nice step through move. Got Zwears in the air, and Tanner Bitson has 14, and a turnover by the Comets. Here comes Tanner Bitson, and he'll misses the shot. And a scramble for the rebound goes to Ryland. And Ryland is going to be fouled. And that's either going to be against Quam or Brumfield. So the Chargers are trying to uh, pull away from the Comets as Colby Ryland's heading to the free throw line. Free throw is nothing but net for Colby Ryland. He's got all three points coming off of free throws this evening. If he knocks this down, it looks like uh, Jesse Perleyberg's checking in for him. Free throws in the air and good once again. So four points for him. He's four of six from the charity strike. And Jesse checks in for him. Marshall Rito also checking in a ball game. Comments down by nine. 43, 34, 155. And counting as Gold is bringing up the uh, ball from half court, almost loses it, but the fortunate there to bounce to Quam. On top of the key to Zwier. Zwier's on the attack, kicks to Brumfield. Three-pointer short, as he just never got a clean catch. Tried to knock it down. And Coach Garvin wants a timeout. We'll take a quick one as well. We'll be back with the uh, end of the game in 30 seconds. <laughs> are down by 9, 43-34. The Chargers of Brandon Evansville leading them, and the Chargers with the basketball. And Brandon Evansville trying to uh, win their third straight, and the Comets are hoping to somehow uh, scratch away and claw away, and if they come away with a victory, they would uh, snap a two-game skid that they're currently on. But more than likely, it looks like the Chargers are going to win their third straight and Comets are going to lose their third straight. But we got uh, 141 exactly left to play as Sheely's going to inbound. Comets have no choice but to pick up full court man to man with Foss defending the inbound. And that is tip stolen away by the Comets. Seymour over to gold. Comets need a bucket. A two or a three, anything would do. 130, 90 seconds left to play. Brumfield. Top of the key, attacking, gets all the way to the hole, and he'll score with the left hand. Big bucket for Sam. Cuts it to seven. And the inbound comes to Tyler Bitson, and he's heavily guarded, and that's almost stolen away, but now there's going to be a late foul. And that's going to put Tyler Bitson at the free throw line. It's going to be four on Sam. So the sophomore, Tyler Bitson, he is one of three from the free throw line. He's got three points in the ball game. 
Free throws in the air and no good. Boarded by Seymour. Oh, Seymour is going to bring it on the other end of the floor. We got 110 left. Comet's got a little life. Over to Gold. Gold will give it to Quam. Now back to Brumfield. Deep three is short. Missed everything from Sam with 104 left to play in the ball game. 43-36. And now we got a timeout from Coach Hinnermeister. And we'll keep it here as it's a 30-second timeout. 104 left in the ball game. 43-36. Chargers with the seven-point lead and the basketball. Immediately following the game here, we'll be bringing you the Olsen All Express post-game show and announcing that quality player of the game. If you're just joining us, Tanner Bitson tonight, the senior from Brandon Evansville, scored his 1,000th career point. He's got 14 on the evening. He need 11 coming in to uh, reach that career mark. Uh, so he's got 1,003 points for his career with about six, seven regular season basketball games yet to go. Congratulations, Tanner Bitson. As both teams are uh, returning to the floor, again, 104 left here. And game time action. Inbound going to come from Sheely. Sheely will inbound it to Tanner Bitson. He'll be picked up by Quam. Under a minute to play. Tanner Bitson on the handle, working against Quam. He gets it across, crosses the timeline. Over to Sheely, and the Chargers are going to turn it over. Now we're going to have a tip. As Thomas just got to keep playing. And now we're going to have a full timeout taken by Coach Hinnermeister with 53.6 seconds left. I got a fi final from uh, Jason Retzoff on that the girls game. The Otters are victorious over St. Cloud Apollo on the road. And uh, the Otters defeating Apollo by a score of 70 to 31. I mean, Park Legion scoreboard. So I believe that's 19 straight for the Otter Girls. Down to the wire here at a seven point ball game. 43 36. Chargers will have the basketball out of the timeout. Looks like Bitson lost the ball on his own, but uh, the refs saw something different. So the Chargers are going to uh, retain possession here out of the timeout. Chargers trying to hang on. Of course, take care of the basketball and uh, knock some free throws down. And the Comets are going to have to take some chances, trying to get out into some passing lanes, knock that basketball away, and then score some uh, quick buckets on the other end of the floor as we are under a minute to play with 53.6 seconds left. Comets definitely have the firepower to do it. Uh, we'll see how this shakes out. Now we're going to have a foul on Brumfield, and he's done for the game. That's five on Sam. And he follows out with five points. He had a three in the first, a two-point bucket in the second, and give him five for the ball game as he'll be replaced by Joel Seymour with 51.4. For Marshall Riedel is at the free throw line. One and one situation. 19 fall here on the Comets. As the free throw is in the air and good for Marshall Riedel. Five points for him. Trying to make it six and extend it to a nine point ball game with the made free throw. And he does. Knocks it home, six points for him and that score is 45-36. Here comes Gold. Gold attacking. Comets need uh, some points and in a hurry. Over to Foss, Foss back to Gold. Gold trying to get past Sheely, kicks to Seymour. Seymour will penetrate all the way to the hoop and there'll be a foul called. And Joel Seymour is going to have a couple of free throw attempts with 36.7 seconds left. That's going to go against Tanner Bitson, his second foul of the ball game. It's the fifth team foul here on the Chargers. As Seymour had a uh, couple of free throws in the first half and a couple of attempts, and he split the pair, and he knocked down the first for this one, so two or three on the ball game as Ha is going to check in for Zwiers. Oh, 
Joel Seymour at the free throw line. Shot is up and good. Two free throws made by Joel Seymour. And the inbound is going to come from Sheely. Sheely will feed Pearly Burke. Pearly Burke working against Seymour. And now to Riedel. And Riedel will be fouled from Foss. As they wanted Pearly Burke at the free throw line, but he got rid of it and got it over to Riedel. And Riedel going to the free throw line. With 30.9 seconds left, Marshall Riedel's free throws in the air and no good. Trying to get another one down as it was double bonus. Ten uh, fouls on the Comets in the half. And the second attempt for Riedel is good. Nothing but net. Makes it an eight point ball game. Under 30 seconds to go. Gold. Over to Quan. Quan penetrates. He kicks to Seymour. Seymour to Foss. Foss long three. Good. And the Comets aren't done yet as Micah Foss has 13 points and we got a foul. And that's going to send Tanner Bitson to the free throw line with 15.6 seconds left. Going to go against Joel Seymour, his first in the ball game. A little uh, offense for defense, defense for offense. Substitution going to be coming in after the first of two from Tanner Bitson as Rears will replace Joel, Joel Seymour. So Bitson at the free throw line, first of two. He short ended it off the front rim, no good. Oh, he'll replace Ha. A Yuchin Ha is going to head to the bench as Thomas Weirs checks into the ball game again. 15.6, five point ball game. So no matter what, if he makes this, it's going to be a five point or a six point game. Stays at a five point game. Board by Weirs. The Comets got to hurry as no guard comes to get it. So Thomas says, "All right, I'm just going to dribble it up the floor," and he loses it out of bounds. So got four guards on the floor with Thomas. They were heading the other way. Turnover by the Comets. And the Chargers are going to get the ball back here with 8.3 left in the ball game. 46-41. A little bit of time left, but uh, barring uh, outside of a little miracle, the Chargers are going to extend their winning streak to three. The Comets are going to drop their last three, all three games this week. They lost to uh, Pelican Rapids on Monday by 10. Uh, and then they lost just last night in an overtime battle in a little late conference matchup on the road against the Battle Lake Battlers. And they lost in overtime by a score of 59 to 53. And they are on the wrong side of the ball game right here with 8.3 seconds left. And the Chargers are up 46 to 41. Oh, well, yeah, steal would be great. Otherwise, you just got a foul right away, no matter who catches it, if you're on the Comet side of things. And of course, the Chargers are trying to take care of that basketball and knock down free throws. As they're going to inbound it right by the Hillcrest bench. Tyler Bitson going to inbound. Finds Riedel. Riedel's going to dribble some valuable seconds off the clock. And he'll be fouled with 4.9 seconds. So Colby Ryland heading to the free throw line. Junior is four of six from the charity stripe. He'll have two as we're in the double bonus. The 12th foul here on the Comets of the half. And the free throw for Ryland is good. All five points of his coming from that free throw line. Extended to a six point lead, 4.9 left. Gonna make it a seven point ball game. And another turnover by the Comets. And the Chargers are just gonna run out the clock, I would anticipate. And win a hard fought seven point victory here on the Comets home floor. And that will do it here. On the Park Region, the On the Connection scoreboard, the Chargers are going to defeat the Comets 
by seven. That score, 48 to 41.